Welcome to my channel, subscribe or dale like if you like. Today we will explain the active principle spironolactone, we will talk about its side effects, its dosage, contraindications, warnings, its mechanism of action, pregnancy, breastfeeding and much more. What is spironolactone? Spironolactone is a medicine used for the treatment of high blood pressure, chronic heart failure and hyperaldosteronism. The brand names of spironolactone are, aldactone, vivitar, caro, spear. Mechanism of action of spironolactone. Specific pharmacological antagonist of aldosterone, which acts mainly through a competitive mechanism of binding to receptors of the exchange zone Na+. K plus aldosterone dependent located in the distal contour tubule. Spironolactone acts as a potassium sparing diuretic, causing increased excretion of sodium and water and maintaining potassium and magnesium levels. It also has an anti-androgenic effect, probably due to peripheral androgen antagonism. Therapeutic indications of spironolactone. Essential arterial hypertension. Chronic heart failure NEHA classes 3 and 4. Primary hyperaldosteronism, as a diagnostic agent in pre-surgical treatment, or in the long-term treatment of cases where surgical intervention is not indicated. Secondary hyperaldosteronism, edema related to liver cirrhosis, CHF and nephrotic syndrome. Children should be treated only under the supervision of a pediatrician. Limited pediatric data are available. Side effects and adverse reactions of spironolactone. Discomfort, fatigue, gynecomastia, irregular menstruation, amenorrhea, postmenopausal bleeding, impotence, diarrhea, nausea, headache, drowsiness, pregnancy and spironolactone. There are no adequate and well-controlled studies on pregnant women. Both spironolactone and its metabolites can cross the placental barrier. Animal studies have recorded reproductive toxic effects including feminization of male fetuses in rats. The use of spironolactone is not recommended in pregnant women because of its possible anti-androgenic effects, unless the expected benefit justifies the possible risks. Lactation and spironolactone. Can known, the main metabolite of spironolactone, is excreted in breast milk, with the infant receiving an estimated maximum of 0.2% of the daily breast dose. If the use of spironolactone is essential in the treatment of breastfeeding women, breastfeeding should be replaced by artificial feeding during the treatment period. Effects on the ability to drive spironolactone Some patients have presented somnolence and dizziness, especially at the beginning of the treatment, so it is advisable to be careful when driving vehicles, operating dangerous or precision machinery, as well as carrying out any other activity that requires concentration. Spironolactone dosage. Oral. Adults. High blood pressure, 50 to 100 mg per day. In severe cases it may be increased up to 200 mg per day in two week intervals. Chronic heart failure NEHA classes 3 and 4, 25 mg per day associated with conventional treatment. If necessary, if the dose of 25 mg per day is tolerated, it may be increased to 50 mg per day. If the initial dose is not tolerated, the dose of 25 mg may be reduced every other day. The dose for the treatment of CHF should not be higher than 50 mg per day. Primary hyperaldosteronism, diagnosis and treatment, diagnosis, 400 mg day for 3 to 4 weeks, long term test, or 400 mg for 4 days, short term test. Preparation for surgery, 100 to 400 mg day, if surgery is not possible, give spironolactone as long-term maintenance treatment at the minimum effective dose, determined individually. Secondary hyperaldosteronism. In edema is associated with chronic heart failure, 100 mg per day. In more severe cases it can be progressively increased to 400 mg day. Maintenance dose. 25 to 200 mg a day. In edema is associated to hepatic cirrhosis, if the ratio Na plus slash K plus is greater than 1, 100 mg a day. If it is less than 1, 200 to 400 mg a day. Individualized maintenance dose. 
in edemas associated with nephrotic syndrome, 100 to 200 mg a day. Elderly, usual dose 25 mg day, reducing to 25 mg in alternate days according to the degree of renal function. Mild renal failure, 25 mg a day. Moderate renal insufficiency, 25 mg every other day. Children, initial, 1 to 3 mg slash kg per day in several intakes. Under specialist supervision. Mode of administration of spironolactone. Oral route. Administer at any time of day with or without food. Avoid drinking alcohol. Spironolactone contraindications. Hypersensitivity to spironolactone. Moderate to severe renal insufficiency in children and adults, acute insufficiency, cases of notably altered renal function, and nuria. Hyperkalemia. Addison's disease or other diseases associated with hyperkalemia. Concomitant with aplerinone, warnings and precautions with spironolactone. Elderly, diabetes, severe liver disease. Monitor plasma levels of Na and K as spironolactone may cause electrolyte imbalance in the elderly or with impaired liver or kidney function, also with severe heart failure, NEHA classes 3 and 4. Avoid in patients with heart failure NEHA classes 1 and 2, high risk of hyperkalemia. The use of dietary salts is not recommended, severe intoxication. Concomitant with other potassium sparing diuretics, ACE inhibitors, angiotensin 2 antagonists, aldosterone blockers, heparin, low molecular weight heparins or other substances known to produce hyperkalemia, potassium supplements, a diet rich in potassium or salt substitutes containing potassium may lead to severe hyperkalemia as well as NSAIDs and beta blockers. Liver failure and spironolactone. Caution. Kidney failure and spironolactone. Contraindicated in acute renal failure, anuria and markedly altered renal function. Contraindicated in moderate to severe renal failure in adults and pediatric patients. Interactions with spironolactone. Risk of hyperkalemia with other potassium sparing diuretics or potassium supplements, ACE inhibitors or angiotensin II receptor antagonists, NSAIDs, trimethoprim slash sulfamethoxazole. Decreased diuretic action with high doses of ASA. Increased risk of significant hyperchloremic metabolic acidosis with ammonium chloride, cholestyramine. Decreased efficacy with carbonox alone. In addition, spironolactone may cause a decrease in the anti ulcer action of carbonox alone by probable competitive antagonism. Potentiation of orthostatic hypotension with alcohol, barbiturates, or narcotics. Electrolyte depletion, hypokalemia, with, corticosteroids, ACTH. Toxicity enhanced by, ammonium chloride, cholesteramine. Decreases the vascular response of, noradrenaline. Enhances the effects of, antihypertensive. Potentiates toxicity of, digoxin, lithium. Increases the metabolism of, phenazone. In fluorimetric assays, Spironolactone may interfere in the estimation of compounds with similar fluorescence characteristics.